Hey everyone, it's Grace and welcome back to my channel. So I said from my previous video, the everyday makeup routine in Korea, that I'll be focusing more on like Korea, like videos like makeup hauls and vlogs and stuff like that. But I had to like put this because I've waited for it for a really, really long time. So please, please forgive me. Um, but I will be uploading a lot of my Korea things very, very soon. Soon. From the title, then I'll be reviewing Vice Cosmetics, their phenomenal lip kits, and their lipstick. Now, before going into the details of the product, let's talk about the shipment. Okay, so um, I ordered mine September 30, 2017. It arrived October 16, 2017. So it took it took a lot of time, and it says around like three to five business days. But then also, I was kind of trying to understand the whole thing because it is like it just came out and it's from Vice Ganda and a lot of people are ordering it so I understand that but I wanted to like film this video before even going to Korea but it arrived like after I got into Korea so um yeah it arrived so I wasn't able to check it right away because I stayed in Korea for one week so and then I realized my first order so as I said I have three things here the three things here this is the first package and it only had the phenomenal lip kits so i emailed them monday saying that you know i'm missing the lipstick and stuff like that they applied thursday so i thought i won't be able to film this this week but it arrived today so i was like i slapped on some makeup and did it so um here's the lipstick packaging so um yeah i just i just wanted to like talk about that now honestly i wasn't really interested with the vice cosmetics whole thing i know ann curtis came up with their own makeup line which is blk black i, I don't know that makeup these on my the nails hideous hideous but i got no time no wait i got no like nail polish remover yeah i have no nail polish remover so um that's not mind it but um yeah so i was not really interested with it but when i visited the vice cosmetics website and saw how affordable the products were i was like i wanna i'm gonna place i'm gonna place an order so i think the phenomenal lip kits are 298 pesos i'm gonna double check hold on the oh i was no i wasn't i wasn't right but it was close the phenomenal lip kits are 295 pesos cheap right and they're packaged really really nicely i mean i feel like i'm paying more than 295 pesos and um yeah they you can also order like the whole like phenomenal lip kit it's called the uncobogable lip collection so that is uh, whoa there's uh there's two choices before when i was ordering they only had like the uncobogable vip box um, which has all of the lipsticks and the phenomenal lip kits. It's 3,800. Then you have the phenomenal VVIP. So very, very important person box for 5,000 pesos. So 5,000 pesos is roughly around 100 US dollars. 3,800 pesos is roughly around 80 dollars ish. I don't know. No, I don't know. But um, yeah, so I was actually debating whether or not I will put this in a separate video and focus on this but I was like you know might as well put them all in one video so um yeah I'm really really excited for this so um yeah I mean seriously packaging wise this is 295 pesos what so um yeah this side and formulated in Los, Los Angeles California California but um it's cruelty free which is great and it's 24 months so yeah, let's get on to it. First product I will try is the Good Vibes Matte Lipstick because I feel like it won't stain as much as the liquid lipsticks. So I still have the packaging. Um, I wanted to buy more shades, but I was like, do you need it? No. And I was going to Korea, so I'm sure it's gonna make up at skincare shop. So, um, yeah. Oh, oh! So the packaging is just like this because I thought like the good vibes lip matte lipstick it's not here which I actually like the simplicity 
a bit. I wasn't really sure about how I would feel about the purple packaging, but it's actually really nice and it's very sturdy. I feel like it's not 195 pesos. But um, yeah, one of the reasons why I bought this lipstick, it's called Pack Gunnern. Pack Gunnern. Pack Gunnern. So if you guys don't know what Pack Gunnern is, Pack Gunnern is... Pack Gunnern. So it's just so fun, Pack Gunnern. So um, yeah, Pack Gunnern. So this one is in the shade Pack Gunnern. Oh! Sorry, I'm overly excited for this because... Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I have so many mixed reactions here. I love the packaging. I love the shade. These are right up my alley. Oh, it's like a brownish. It's a very fall shade, which is perfect. But, but the scent though. I'm not, mm, mm, not feeling the scent. It smells like plastic, but um, yeah. I don't know how to feel about this. This is the packaging. Here is the shade. And here is the lip color. Pretty! To be honest, I love the shade. It's just that it is creamy, like it said. The, the, the scent doesn't really linger on your... I feel like I'm on focus. Anyways, I freaking love the shade. It's just that I, I love the shade. It is creamy, but it almost has the creamy slash waxy feel to it. And even though it it smells plasticky, it doesn't really linger on your lips. It has this plasticky Crayola scent. So I'm not quite sure how to feel about that. But it feels really, really nice on the lips. Like it's really creamy. I love the shade. I do see myself picking the shade up. It's really, really pretty though. Like, like it's deep, but then it's not too deep. It's like it's deep, but not too deep perfect so um yeah i really do love it it's pretty it's just that it has that waxy creaminess to it but it's definitely a lot better than all of the other 195 peso lipsticks i've tried so i'll give this a an okay it's not my favorite um lipstick formula but it's great but it's good love the color though there we go so i have two of the phenomenal lip kits i have it in phenom phenom phenomenal and then i have it in girly so i'm really really excited to use this i mean seriously 295 pesos packaging is really really nice i'm gonna start off with girly because it is more of the lighter shade so um yeah so this is how it looks like on the inside and then it also came with a note from Vice Gunda, which is really really nice. I like personalized things. So um, yeah. Whoa. Can I cut it? Okay. So here is the liquid lipstick, and here is the whoa. The lip liner. So oh. supposed to happen oh wow okay so the tip of the lip liner is gone Ugh. um I don't know how to go forward with this you don't you do you sharpen this Okay, this is not gonna work. Wait, hold on. I'm like really confused how to make this work. Is it retractable? I'm sharpening a new pencil. Here you go. Yay! 
re whoa really loving the lip liner because it's it's creamy i have like creamy lip liners that go down really really fast i know that was the problem with like kylie lip kits like the lip liners were really really like smooth but it goes down really really quickly so this one's good the fact that it's creamy but not like don't lose the product easily so Okay, so it wasn't that hard to remove. I didn't expect that it, you can actually just use um, micellar uh, cleansing water. I'll show you like a clip on how I removed it. It wasn't that hard to remove, which surprised me. So I think it's a good thing. I mean, I do love long lasting liquid lipsticks, but I don't like the fact that I had to like keep rubbing my lips. So I think it's a good thing. Not quite sure how well that would go like when you drink and eat, but we will find out by the end of the day so um yeah the one i'm testing out is phenom phenom i think this is the darkest no, i think it's the red one i hope i hope that the that the lip liner is not broken so <gasps> it's not it's not it's not it's not broken hallelujah okay so this is the lip liner Um, does it look like red orange? How come I feel like it looks red orange? Hmm? Hmm? I feel like it's drying like a red orange. My phone, it is currently 3.41 in the afternoon and let's see how well this would go. So, um... Um, yeah hey I'm back so um yeah so I went for the phenom one phenom and honestly it actually looks more of a orangey red like a red orange which I'm not mad at I do love red oranges now um, I'm very impressed with how like this one stayed on after eating dinner I had a really really early dinner and the reason why I'm ending this video kind of it's only like 8 30 but i have to work out um have to work out like looking at it it's definitely more of a red orange stuff like that now if you want the lipstick that has no transfer this one has zero transfer i was like eating soup and then i was eating something fried because and then i was like drinking there's really no transfer but like if you look at it close up, you would see the part here. It's like faded a bit and also this part right here. But from afar, it doesn't look bad. So to me, that's okay. Like I can I can live with that. In terms of textures for the lip kits, they remind me of the consistency the, and the opaqueness of ColourPop liquid lipsticks. Uh, this one is in the shade Trap, which is like a gray shade. It's like a gray with a beige to it. Um, it's like that, but then once it dries, it has the finish and the feeling of the Sleek Matte Me. So if you guys tried the Sleek Matte Me, it has that same kind of texture. It's almost like, ah! Oh! So, yeah, as I said, it has the texture and opaqueness of the ColourPop, but it has the texture of Sleek Matte Me. So I feel like it's like a combination of these two like liquid lipsticks. I was like, throughout the day, I was kind of thinking of how to like um, 
say it or like explain the texture until like I reminded of these because I've tried the ColourPop ones. The ColourPop one, they dry but it kind of has a certain stickiness to it but not completely. This dries completely matte but kind of has a powder feel to it, like powder finish top coat but it doesn't really last as long. It's just like the first stage of it. But yeah, I feel like it's a mixture of these two um, liquid lipsticks. I do like it. I do love the two shades that I've got. Girly, especially girly, surprised me because it's definitely out of my comfort zone. I don't own any like liquid lipstick or lip color like this, so I'm really, really happy with this one. The Phenom one, I was expecting it to be a more like blue toned red, but it's not. It became more of like a reddish orange as it dries. Um, what I noticed as well is that. They kind of change slightly the shade. I feel like there's only a few liquid lipsticks that dry and stay the shade that they are. These change slightly. I would rate these a 9 out of 10, but it's down to 8 because it changes slightly. Unlike the Everbalena liquid lipsticks, what you see on the tube and the way they apply on your lips, it's pretty the same. This one is like 185, but um, yeah, that's like a little minor thing. They are not the best liquid lipstick I've tried, um, but they're also not the worst. I feel like they're, if I'm gonna like tell you like the best liquid lipsticks I've tried like locally, this would be in the top five, but it's not the best best for me. Um, but it is the most long lasting one. I feel like it doesn't really transfer, which I like. Plus, considering you also get like a lip liner, I mean, and I dropped it. Like, considering the fact that you get a liquid liner for 295 pesos, that is more than a steal. So I really do like this. Um, I love the liquid lipsticks, but I freaking love the lip liners. So these lip two lip liners, I love the fact that they're creamy, but they're not like um, you don't run out of it really really fast, which I like. So um, yeah, so girly and phenom. So I feel like if you know someone who loves um, like lip kits, I think this would be like the perfect like gifts, honestly. I mean, for someone who's starting off with liquid lipsticks, I think they're pretty good. Um, but yeah, but I guess it depends on the person if they're okay with a little bit of dryness on their lips. But um, yeah, I really do like these. I feel like though I'm liking the, like, the lip liners bit better like a tiny bit better so these get a 9 out of 10 and these get an 8 out of 10 but um yeah it's just i hope you guys you guys you know want to experience what i experienced earlier with girly and you guys could see it was chopped off but um yeah i do like them now i did try yeah i did try the good vibes matte lipstick in pat ganern and it looks like this. I mean, I freaking love the shade. It's so pretty. I like the fact that it says it's a matte lipstick, but it's not like drying. I wasn't able to test this as much as the matte liquid lipsticks, but I feel like you guys would be a lot more interested with the Phenomenal lip kit. Or if you guys want just, like a more in-depth review on this one, then I could do it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys that I did get the good vibes lipstick but maybe you know i should i should like do a more like dedicated video on this one but um yeah the only thing i love the packaging i love the color i love how it's a matte but it's a moisturizing matte i hate the sh i hate the scent it smells really bad mm. Mm, i don't like it i don't like it i don't like it but um it smells very plasticky and chemically but um, yeah, that is my review for the Vice Cosmetics Phenomenal Lip Kit and the Good Vibes Matte Lipstick-ish. But um, yeah, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!